What is up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique in case you are new here and today I have a really exciting video for all you content creators out there. Canva has just made our life just a little bit more easier. So today I'm going to show you how to efficiently create and upload bulk content into Canva so that you can have it already pre-made to be uploaded to any social media platform of your choosing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So today I am using the Canva app through my MacBook, um, but you can definitely use it through your browser or your phone and the steps will be the exact same. So as always, we start off on our home page. And so what we're going to do is create the appropriate format for our content that's going to be uploaded to our social media. And so today I'm going to be bulk creating Instagram posts. So that's what I am going to look for Instagram posts and I'm going to just do the square. All right, y'all. So now I'm just going to scroll down. So what I plan on bulk creating is quotes. So what I'm going to do is find a template that looks good with the quotes that I want to post. Um, so I'm going to use this template right here. Then I'm going to create or customize this template. So here is what everything is looking like once it has been uploaded. So next I'm going to go over to the left hand side and scroll down to apps. Then I'm going to scroll down to bulk create. Then I'm just going to click on that. And so from here, you can either enter your data manually or you can upload a CSV. Um, it all depends on what you're using or what you're trying to bulk create, but I'm just going to go ahead and enter them manually. So next, because I am only entering quotes, I don't need two columns. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to right hand click it. Then I'm going to delete column. And then from here, I'm just going to paste. So let's delete this row. There we go. I'm just going to paste all the captions that I already had. Um, and I use chat GPT to come up with some of these quotes. And if you want to know how I use chat GPT and AI to bulk create um, some quotes that are very popular sayings that could be used on like printable art and social media, let me know. Um, and I can kind of show y'all how to even work chat GPT. I'm here to show y'all tips and tricks on how to grow your social media presence. So I definitely use chat GPT and just different AI technologies all throughout my business and would love to share it with y'all. So let me know in the comments if that's something that may interest you. But let's get back to the template. So now that everything has been uploaded, I'm just going to go right here and click done. And so the next thing um, Canva is asking me to do is to connect data to your elements. So what I need to do is right click an element in your page to connect it to your data below. So I want my text to be in this space. So I'm going to go ahead and right click it. Then I'm going to go down here to connect data. Then it just connected right here. And once it's properly connected, you'll see the check. Then we're just going to hit continue. And so the next thing that comes on my screen, it says apply data, create pages based on the data you entered. Um, so I'm just looking and these are all of the quotes looking good. I'm going to click generate um, the 10 pages right here. All right. And so what Canva did was create another tab for all of these um, content pieces to be housed in. Um, so this is a whole different document from the original. But here goes my quotes. Embrace imperfection. Inspire your soul. Chaos breeds peace. Find yours. Just everything that I uploaded. And so one thing that you will have to do is just adjust it to your liking and maybe do a little bit of realigning. But for the most part, um, the bulk of the work is done through Canva and it makes your life so much easier. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you get out there and create. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. I try to keep it short for y'all. Keep it sweet and simple and straight to the point. So on that note, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.